what's going on guys it's july late july and uh it's about six o'clock in the morning heading to go pick up randy we're gonna go get on smithfield today do some fishing i got the goon hat on but that's because it's gonna be 110 degrees and i don't feel like getting beat up by the sun today <laughs> Always check and make sure all your lights work before you go, because you don't want that ticket. Okay guys, for today, I don't really know how it's gonna work. I'd love to explain this day a little more to you. Um, it's gonna be super, super hot. My complete background is pretty much like crappie bluegill pan fishing and bass. I spent the majority of my youth and teenage years non-stop bass fishing, learning and researching as much as I can to become the best bass angler I possibly could. But that bite's gonna be really tough today. Uh, Randy is a very, very big cat fisherman. He's very, very big into cat fishing and kind of what all goes into that. And he's a do-it-yourselfer. He makes a lot of his own weights and stuff like, stuff like that. So if the bass bite's a little too difficult for me and I'm just trying to get footage, we might opt into just making this a catfishing video. Because, uh, yeah, we're talking over 105, 110 degree heat index, which is going to be extremely difficult. So, uh, right now we're heading to go get him, so let's do it. Up right now. Got a little channel. Not bad. He's telling, me he's <laughs> telling you he swallowed it. See, that's the worst thing about the small channels is before you even have a time to really feel what's going on, he's kind of engulfing it. What happened here is, guys, this little guy had a chance to kind of start engulfing the uh, bait before he had a chance to. to so it was in there so deep, no matter what, the fish is going to die. So we just went ahead and flayed him up. We're going to throw him in the bag with ice, let it stay nice and chill, and somebody's going to have something to eat later. So sometimes you got to do that stuff when you're out here, guys. Sorry. Alright guys, I've been bottom bouncing a couple things. I tried dot, uh, drop shotting a uh, Cinco for a little bit. Um, I don't know, the wind's just kind of carrying me a little bit too much off the boat and I'm having a hard time feeling what I'm doing. So I'm going to switch. Got a little bit of chop on the water. I'm trying to see if I can't get some flash uh, slow rolling the spinnerbait for a little bit. Alright guys, so the story of the day is I think I'm not going to continue bass fishing. I'm just going to go straight into cat fishing. It is a tough one. Randy's hooked up. He's got some. And 
right now what we're throwing guys we got about a 20 pound I really don't know what line this is if I can say I know it's mono but and he's got a three ounce and a little plastic uh, bump stop to prevent causing damage to the uh, swivel itself uh, about eight eight inches to a foot on the leader and then it's your typical uh, catfish punch bait is what we're throwing well, we finally got a decent one on Two pounder, you think? So on the finder, we found a little spot that's kind of jumping from about three feet to about what was it at? About 17 feet, which is a really good drop off, and it's holding some panfish. And he's had a couple bites on uh, the catfish right now. starting to finally bite now. We just got hooked up with doubles. Got a small little slack crappie. Oh, you did get awesome. Is he watching mine? So it looks like uh, about the same size. So back home, man, we are done for the day. The GoPro's batteries died. I left all the extras in the truck, but the day was okay. The bass bite was pretty much pointless, so I, I quit bass fishing within the first 30 minutes. Water temperature was like 87 to 89 degrees, bluebird skies, 110 degrees outside. That bite wasn't even gonna happen. So I switched it up to crappie. He continued fishing catfish. He did pretty good on the catfish. Ended up catching one, I think maybe two and a half, three pounds on a channel cat. Uh, caught four, maybe five decent crappie. Three were probably keepers, so I mean, not a horrible day. We definitely caught some stuff, but it's just a hot, miserable, nasty day today. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.